Good morning, Reno International School, and welcome to this week's newscast. Today is Monday, March 12th. Today, our newscasters are Sofia Caetano and Brooklyn Lindsay. In the United Kingdom this week, they spend an entire week celebrating William Shakespeare. Who is William Shakespeare? Here's a video made by the British Council. William Shakespeare was born in 1564 in Stratford-upon-Avon in England. His father John was a glove maker. His mother Mary was a farmer's daughter. He had two older sisters, two younger sisters, and three younger brothers. William probably studied Latin, Greek, and history, and left school when he was 14 or 15. Three years later, he married Anne Hathaway. They had a daughter called Susanna and twins named Judith and Hamnet. Sometime before 1590, he left Stratford and went to London, the capital city of England. London's first theatre opened in 1576. Shakespeare worked in London as an actor and then started writing plays too. In 1593, the plague, a terrible disease, killed thousands of people and theatres were closed. During this time, William started to write poems instead of plays. His short poems are called sonnets. Shakespeare helped build a new theatre called The Globe. It opened in 1599. It was round and had space for 3,000 people. At The Globe, some people stood in front of the stage and others had seats. The audience shouted, clapped, booed and laughed while they watched plays. Musicians created special noises to make the plays more exciting and they had a cannon to make big bangs. No women acted in Shakespeare's time. Men and boys played all the parts. Shakespeare wrote comedies with happy endings like A Midsummer Night's Dream. He wrote tragedies which had sad endings like Romeo and Juliet. His history plays are about kings and queens like Henry V. Shakespeare wrote 38 plays, maybe more. He loved language and invented new words and expressions that we still use today. William became rich and famous. He had houses in London and in Stratford. He died when he was 52 on April the 23rd, 1616. His plays and poetry were very popular 400 years ago and they are still popular today. People all over the world love his work because he wrote wonderful stories about very interesting people. Shakespeare is a named author in school curriculum in 65% of countries around the world, studied by around half of the world's school children every year. He has been hailed as the UK's greatest cultural expert and the foremost reason why Britons are proud to be British. And this week at RAS, we continue Fitness is Fun Month. Keep charting your minutes of exercise. On Thursday, we have everyone's favorite, Snack, snack shop. shop. This week, the third through seventh grades are in charge of bringing snacks. On Thursday morning, don't forget your money. Next week, we will have our annual Spirit Week. We will vote today on Facebook for which themes we will have during the week. We look forward to seeing how creative you are with themes for each day. Please remember to stay within the dress code as outlined in our agendas. You voted and your student council is Student Council had their first official meeting last Wednesday. Students in 4th through 12th grade met to discuss Spirit Week themes and future school events. 
If you have any ideas for the council, as well as how to help them raise funds for their events, please seek out a class representative. For the RIS News Network, this is Brooklyn Lindsay signing off and Sophia Kaitham signing off. Tune in next week for another exciting edition of RIS News. Have, have an amazing, amazing week! week.